this is the time that people are starting their little spring vacations. One, some of the times people are planning on going to Florida. Well, me, I like to use the old U.S. highways instead of the interstate. I travel down 441. It goes all the way to Florida, to Miami. I can go on 441. It takes me to these little towns through Georgia, like um, Madison, Georgia, where Sherman, during the Civil War, he did not burn down the town of Madison, Georgia. And all the Antum Bellum homes are there at Madison, Georgia. So people go to Madison, Georgia to see the pre-Civil War homes. And another thing, people go to Milledgeville, Georgia, and it's on 441. And they travel to see the one of the oldest state capitals before Atlanta was the state capital in the 1800s, Milledgeville was the state capital. And on the Georgia College campus, they had the old governor's mansion there. Because back in the early 1800s, Milledgeville was the state capital of Georgia. And it was during the Civil War that Milledgeville was the state capital. And that is where um, a lot of history is at in Milledgeville, Georgia. Well, then you can travel down 441 to Dublin, Georgia. It's a beautiful town. Have a lot of things to do there. Then you go to McRae, Georgia. And there's a state park. It's called Little Little Omogi State Park. They have a lodge, campsites, and it's the home of the tortoises. A lot of it's a turtle that likes to live in that area because of the sandy soil. They like to dig holes and, and dig their burrows and live underground. Well that's McCray, Georgia. They have a golf course on the state park and a lake. Well, then you travel on down 441, you go through Douglas, Georgia. That's the home of a small college. And um, then you travel from there to Folkestone, Georgia. That is where the Okefenokee Swamp is. And it's on 441. Well, you leave, the, you go across the Swanee River, the famous Swanee River. You know, they made a, uh, Stephen Foster wrote a song about the Swanee River. Well, you, the Swanee River goes across 441. Well, the Okefenokee Swamp is is a uh, thousands and thousands of acres of a swamp. It's got alligators, got all kinds of wildlife, got mount, got cougars and bear. I mean, people wouldn't believe all the wildlife at the Okefenokee Swamp, and they got a state park there. Then you travel on down 441 and you get to Florida and you go through Florida. It's, uh, they got a, an area that says the Florida State Line and it goes, so 441 goes through to Florida, Lake City. It goes through um, Gainesville, Florida, where the University of Florida is. Ocala, Florida, that's where Silver Springs is at. It's a famous park. It had glass bottom boats where people can go on the river and see the fish on the water. And then you go to, um, from Ocala, you can go to Claremont, Florida. You get off 441 and get on US 27 and go to Claremont, Florida. And then travel down Claremont and you get off at Highway US 192 off US 27 goes to Kissimmee, Florida. Well, Kissimmee, Florida is where Walt Disney World is. Well, off, off 192, US 192, is Walt Disney World at Kissimmee. And there's so much to do there. Families can go to Disney World at all their four parks. They can go to... Um, they got all these different shows that's, that is along 192 or on the John Young Parkway or Lake Buena Vista. There's different little attractions that people can go to. 
There's plenty of restaurants, motels. There's um, so many things for kids to do, parks, little amusement parks like um, they have a park there with ro a little roller coaster and Ferris wheels there at Kissimmee. They have um, Gatorland where there's a place where people can go see thousands of alligators. And um, then there's, um, there's the parks. You got Disney World with the four parks. You got the Magic Kingdom. You have the World Epcot, Hollywood Studios. You have the Animal Kingdom Park for Disney. Then they have water parks. They have a downtown area called Disney Springs. They have shopping areas and restaurants. They have attractions there too. And then there's other areas there. There's SeaWorld. They have SeaWorld as an attraction where it's about dealing with the um, animals of the sea, of the oceans. And then they have Universal Studios that is a theme park with three parks. They have lots of many rides that people can go ride roller coasters and different rides. And then there's different things there to go to parks. There's uh, different attractions. So uh, there's a lot of things to do in the Orlando, Florida area. So. That's what a lot of people are going to be doing this spring. Thank you for watching. Th and thank you for watching my uh, telling of, of the attractions from Georgia to Florida.